here A is repeated once, B is repeated two times, C is repeated three times, D is repeated four times and so on. You want to figure out which of them will be the 288th term. So, after the first uh, alphabet is over, the total alphabets that have been counted is 1, which is just 1A. After B is over, the total number which is the total number of alphabets which are over is 1 plus 2, which is 3. And then we have 3 C's. So, the total number of alphabets that are over is 6. And then we have 4 D's. So, the last D, so to say, is the 10th alphabet. For example, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and this is the 10th one. Similarly, there are 5 E's. So, the last E will be the 15th letter. This will be 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. Now, if there is a letter say um, alpha which is the 288th term and if say alpha is the nth letter in the English alphabet, then what it would mean is that n into n plus 1 by 2 will be greater than or equal to 288 and n is the smallest such number. Why is that the case? Because b is the second alphabet and 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 and the sum of the first n natural numbers we should know 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 till n is equal to n into n plus 1 divided by 2. So, what is the smallest value of n such that n into n plus 1 by 2 is greater than or equal to 288? You can try uh, by guessing. If you put n to be equal to 20, then n into n plus 1 by 2 is 20 into 21 divided by 2, which is equal to 210. If you put n to be equal to say 23, then n into n plus 1 by 2 becomes equal to 23 into 24 divided by 2, which is equal to 23 into 12. 23 into 12 will be 276. If you put n to be equal to 24, this will be 24 into 25 by 2, which is equal to 300. So, the 24th alphabet will be the 288th term of this series. The 23rd alphabet's last number, last term will be the 276th term of the series. The last term of the 24th alphabet will be the 300th term of the series. So, from 277 till 300, the alphabet which is repeating is the 24th alphabet, which is X. So, the correct answer is option D. If you like this question and want more quant practice, just go to Google and search Crack Your Cat Quant Questions.